Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review, long anticipated, Franklin Christoph Model 66 Stabilis Antique Glass, aka the Coke Bottle Pen. All right, this pen first came out at the DC show. Um, Scott brought a few of these to uh, that show as prototypes to show people and sell, which he does often. And it was a hit, and the waiting list grew within a few days to four weeks out. Um, <clears throat> so before we go into any more detail, I'll uh, give you a rundown of what you get when you order it. You get a plain white paper box, which is great. Instead of spending money on the box, you get a leather pouch now, which has the Franklin Christoph logo on both sides. Zipper keeps it nice and tucked away. What a great idea. I use this all the time now. Also inside, uh, two short cartridges. You can use cartridges to fill it. You get, this was for Masayama, hold on. You get your lifetime warranty, signed by Jim Rouse, who checks all the nibs before they go out under a microscope. And you get a Franklin Christoph card, so if you have any issues, problems, phone number, email address, where they're located, if you want to show up and bang on the door. Okay. You do get a separate card if you go for a Masayama grind, which I did. And he signs what he did to the nib, size of the nib, and stamps it with his very cool chop. You can keep this, and I'll go into that in a moment. First of all, we'll open up the case and take out the 66 Antique Glass. I'll keep calling it Antique Glass because that's really what, it, what, what it's named. Um, but it ended up, the, the phrase Coke bottle got coined like I said at that DC show, because it looks like an old-fashioned Coke bottle as far as the color goes. Um, really cool, really unique. Beautiful pen. It's hard to, you'll, you'll see the lighting go in and out a little bit, It's because I really am struggling to get you what the color actually looks like. But you can see here, it's got that Coke bottle green tinge to it. All right, let's start from the top. Um, cap has the Franklin Christoph logo on it, which you can just see when the light hits it like that. As long as it's in focus. Okay. Only barely half a turn to take this off, and that's because, much like the uh, O2 and some of the other designs, he's put the threading up here to block threading. It's large so that it's quick on, quick off, and when you hold it, there's now no threading anywhere in here. So there's nothing interrupting your grip and how you um, can control the pen. Your fingers aren't digging into it. Um, while a lot of manufacturers have gotten better with their threading, this alleviates every issue you could possibly have. All right, this is the uh, steel nib, Franklin Christoph logo, plastic feed. Uh, all these are, whether they're a Masayama grind or not, these are adjusted by Jim Rouse. It's a seven step process of what they go through. They dismantle. Um, make sure that they are 100% clean, that the spacing is correct in between the tines, everything is aligned, um, so that when you get it, it's ready to go. Unscrew the body, and you have a standard Schmidt uh, converter, which I can take out because we're not going to be using that. This was born to be eyedropper, as far as I'm concerned. A little bit of silicone grease right in here. we all seen these. Everyone has one, I would assume. A little grease on it, and you're good to go. But really cool pen. The um, nib itself, top, bottom, does come out, if you don't unscrew the body, as a unit. So that if you get other units, you can just screw them in and out. The nib unit itself. I'm not going to do it because it's already been adjusted and everything. But you can pull this straight out and remove the nib and feed for, you know, super cleaning if you've put something in there, like um, some of the new JR Bonds or a little Brandy Dazzle. And after Christmas, you need to clean all that gunk out. All right. So, wonderful. You also have the etching right here. Again, lighting is just so hard to catch anything on here. But it says Franklin Christoph. Model 66, right in here. I'll put a still picture in here because I'm not going to be able to catch it just right. There we go. 
And that's about all I can tell you on this pen. Other than they will now be released uh, on a limited basis in the stock room on the Franklin Kristoff site. The waiting list is over. Um, he's just going to release them as he can. There is a, uh, well, much like Coke, there is a very special process that this goes through and the recipe is not going to be divulged. Um, but Scott did tell me he makes them pretty much in batches, but one at a time. So you also will see other models out there, the Pocket 66 he has done in this, the Model 20 and the Pocket 20. He may also do the 03 and the 02 as time permits. Again, this is a pretty intensive process to, uh, to get this done. Pricing on it, and then I'm going to give you a quick writing sample, and you guys are going to be out of here. Um, 169.50 for the 66 Stabulous. Um, if you want the Masayama nib, what a great deal! It's 15 dollars more, uh, and and the you can get italics, um, you know, cursive italic stub, whatever you want. If you want a gold nib, the upcharge on that is only 90 dollars more, which is incredibly fair. You know, that's really uh, a good price. And I'll put a note down below if it's 14 or 18 carat. I forgot. I believe it's 14. So, anyways, you're going to go to the site. You're going to check out these. And like I said, the finish doesn't cost any more. It's just going to be released in the back room at the standard pricing. And, and the, nib is, the nibs you can get um, in the option drop-down menu from there. All right. Writing sample coming right up. Before I do the writing uh, sample, I'm going to give you a quick size comparison for this pen. This is a, a Karis Customs ink, Twisby 580, a little bit longer than the ink. And here's your Lamy All-Star. And you can see that the 66 is a little bit longer and uh, really nice feel. The weight on it is comparable to a Lamy All-Star. You know, it's nice, it's light, not too light, but very light. Uh, especially if you put, you know, you fill it with ink like in an eyedropper and you've got how much ever ink it holds. It's got to be over well over two mils, maybe three mils of ink it fit in here. So, all right. So today we've got Franklin. Christoph, 66. Antique glass. Very nice, smooth, has a little bit of crisp to it. Um, nice and wet. Scott did say that um, if you don't request anything, they generally send pens out um, with about a six, six to seven uh, wetness on it. If you want it wetter, they can make it wetter. If you want it a little drier, you can. Um, but that's pretty much what it comes out to. Really nice, smooth nib. There's so many options, and uh, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And if you want the pen, keep an eye on the stock room, or I guess you could always email Scott and bug him. Um, FYI. This year at the Philadelphia Pen Show, January 23rd and 24th, Franklin Christoph will be there, and I have been told there will be a few trays of the prototypes there. How many of these there will be, I don't know. It depends on what the, we, uh, not the waiting list, but how many he can produce for that. So, all you Franklin Christoph fans out there, if you want, uh, if you want some prototypes, you want to see what's new and everything, you're going to see the best showing you've seen in Philadelphia. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Remember, Fountain Pen Day this year is November 4th, 2016.